Okay, so this is a 2009 and 2010 MacBook um, Air and we have a bulging battery. As you see, uh, it's a bulging, uh, it's coming right through the bottom here, right through into the touchpad. And uh, we're going to replace this. Um, you can see there. It's coming kind of right through the air. Uh, it's bringing, it's pushing the touchpad upwards. And so we have to get, replace this battery. Uh, defective battery. Don't know all the um, lithium ion battery or the, it's gone mad. Basically, um, it's ballooned. So you're going to have to, a uh, bit like your mobile phones. Uh, that happens some, sometimes on that like that especially when it gets very hot uh, so anyway we're gonna have to re remove this uh, placement battery and um, put a new one in so first thing we have to do is uh, you're gonna have to remove the uh, battery out here so we're gonna remove this um, use my fingers got some uh, well use EV fingers or that or a spatula tool to uh, pull the old one off that one's fine and I've already removed the two screws already you're going to need a, a specialist uh, Apple screwdriver um, like that it's got three it's a bit like a Phillips but it's only got three uh, edges to it um, yeah you just get them from eBay or what have you so I removed the first two already yeah, you've got screws one two and three one two and three and uh, so I'm going to remove this one on this side so that's that's forcing it the battery because the battery is ballooned it's forcing it upwards it's forcing it out so it's helping you, uh, it kind of helps you in a way to remove the screw. So that when that one's done, you just get a normal uh, Phillips screwdriver and remove the one, uh, two, um, probably three, three down here, uh, three screws. One gone, two. Another down here, as you can see there. There you go. Now you should be able to have three screws. Now you should be able to remove the battery fully. As, as you can see, the ballooned battery is over here. Um, always wash your hands as well after handling this because you never know what might leak, what, what might be leaking. So that's definitely going to go in the bin. Uh, the um, Viola recycle unit for sure. Not not in the. Do not put that in your domestic home bin. So unwrapping this then, I thought I'll show you this. Um, you actually get two screwdrivers. Uh, well, the battery is amazing. Apple screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and Apple screwdriver right here. Um, so yeah, amazing, amazing. Not bad quality either, quite thick. Quite thick metals, I reckon. So you got your Phillips and you got your, your Phillips and you got your Apple screwdriver there. Let's get a speed tool as well to help pick up the battery. And then you got the battery itself. So um, try and put a link um, in the description for these batteries. So you can get, one, get hold of one easily.
so. Now what we're going to do is we obviously you've guessed it right. We're going to plug the battery in here. So uh, so again, very very straightforward. You've obviously you can remember how that the other one, the original, came out. So you put it back in the same way. Take the plastic off. As you can see, it's a replacement battery. Um, so yeah, and then you, you want to plug the power cable back into the motherboard, or to the logic board rather, being that it's an Apple. There you go. Um, That's that when you plug it in like that, you plug it in before you seat the battery inside so that the cables are, are tucked underneath the battery, if possible. Um, that should be all right, I think. Yeah, that's all right. Otherwise, it'll stick out and then it will just uh, be hard for the, to put the case back on. So that's fine. So, um, okay, now let's see. So obviously, you've guessed it. You put the screws back in. So you've got Phillips down here. That's the third one, the third Phillips screw. Next, I'm going to put the uh, the apple screws in now, three apple screws. We have to screw these in really tightly, these ones, apparently. Quite deep screws, so that's that one in. Right. Got that one in, yeah, that one in easily, and then you've got the third and final one. Sorted. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that's it. And then you're going to obviously uh, put the lid back on. And then you're going to turn the power on. There you can see it's turning on there. It's loading up the bottom there, it's very pale, but um, yep, turning on.
very very pale uh, because of my uh, bright lights on it so uh, but it's turning on fine so uh, yeah that's how you do it. pretty simple really um hope you enjoyed this video uh, please like subscribe thank you so much for watching take care bye for now